Hey guys, this is Darren again here in Northern California. We're in our medical cannabis grow facility. We promised you an update on our last video for dry weights, and we have those back now. Sorry for the delay, but it took a little longer than expected. If you remember, we were comparing the LED fixture to the double-ended HPS. Uh, we had uh, Epapion, Gavita, and the Hydrofarm Parsource fixtures, along with the BML Spider 1200 LED. Now that we have the dry weight back, uh, I guess we could say that we're really impressed with both fixtures. We did notice quite a bit of difference between the strains and how they responded to the different lighting sources. And so I think as you see the, the dry weight data, you'll come to understand that the LED definitely performed extremely, extremely well. Uh, we got good results from the double-ended HPS too, but as we mentioned in the earlier video, there's definitely some issues with the fixtures such as heat, distance off of canopy, things like that. So if you notice our growth style, and the distance of the LED off the canopy and things like that. All right, so let's go take a look at some of the dry weight data. You guys can decide for yourselves what you think, but as far as I'm concerned, I'm convinced that the LED is here to stay. It's a great fixture, puts out an incredible amount of light. We got extremely good results. Check it out. In the last video we mentioned the LED fixtures were delivering much higher PAR levels to the plants and this definitely translated to more yield in many of our strains. Here are the head-to-head -head dry weight numbers for six strains. LA Confidential 1.66 pounds per light, that's under the double-ended. Under the LED we got 1.67 pounds per light. UK Cheese we got 1.31 pounds per light with a double-ended. Under the LED, we got 1.41 pounds per light. We have a train wreck Maui Cross that is a hybrid of ours, and that under the double ended, we got 0.71 pounds per light. And under the LED, we got 0.94 pounds per light. We have a Tahoe OG that we got 1.71 pounds per light under the double ended, and under the LED, we got 2.37 pounds per light. For the Super Silver Haze strain that we have, under the HPS we got 1.84 pounds per light and under the LED we got 1.98 pounds per light. The Blue Dream that we run we got 2.12 pounds per light under the HPS and under the LED we got 2.28 pounds per light. Additionally Girl Scout Cookie, which is a favorite here in California, yielded 2.45 pounds of dry weight per light under the Spider 1200s. This equates to 1.6 grams per watt for the BML fixtures, and we have never seen efficiency numbers this high. For growers who have been burned by LED in the past, I can tell you that the Spider fixtures from BML are definitely the real deal. Yes, the LEDs are more expensive on day one, but they basically paid for themselves in the first eight week flower cycle with the increased flower weight. Considering we will get almost eight turns a year in this room, the LEDs are a great investment for growers who are focused on increasing their yield in an eco-friendly manner. As you can see, we have vegged a new batch of plants over the last four weeks, and we're flipping the plants into the flower cycle later today. In part of the room, we rotated the HBS fixtures by 90 degrees, as we noticed some of the fixtures have a distinct beam pattern that delivers more of the light off the side of the fixture. We did notice a bump in the PAR levels by about 100 micromoles, but the PAR levels under the BML LED fixtures are still much higher than that of the HBS. We still have a lot to learn and we're excited to see how we can maximize yield under both technologies. Stay tuned and we'll keep you posted as we learn more about these competing technologies in the future.